Hey everyone, Befron here, and today we have one of the smallest boxes of Magic the Gathering cards, Commander Legends Battle for Baldur's Gate. Let's jump in. Alright folks, so here it is, Battle for Baldur's Gate right here in front of me, ready to be opened. As you can see, as I promised, this is a very small box of cards. Like, if you can tell by my hand, this is about half the depth of a normal box of cards. It is a set booster box with, I believe, only, what is this, 18 booster packs inside this. We'll jump in and see how many. I'm pretty sure it's 18. I could be wrong. Again, little head size comparison. So normal like this way, but very thin this way. So anyway, let's jump in. I'm really excited to see what's in this set. I think the chases for this are the lands. Um, they, they completed the cycle of lands from Commander Legends 1 and then the dragons. So I am interested to see what this is, this is what is in this set. Um, but I've heard it's kind of underwhelming. There's not a lot of like amazing cards. We don't have mana drains. We don't have tutor reprints. So, you know, we'll see. I'm still excited for it. I always like a new set of cards, but you know, I have heard mixed reviews about this set. Anyway, here's the box. I think I'm really excited about this. Guaranteed one each traditional foil art card and foil etch card. So we're going to get an etch card in every pack. There's our little boo uh, pack arts from Minsk and Boo, Boo, Boo and Minsk, Minsk and Boo. I think he's a planeswalker in this set. Anyway, let's jump in and see what we get. So these are gonna be unusual. These are 15 card set boosters. Of course, usually for standard uh, packs, set boosters are 12 cards as opposed to 15. And it looks like I think all the art cards are gonna be this, uh, the, the alternate art. So art cards over here, lands right here. And then let's go through. So we got some very interesting art. Alinus Gloomstalker, Ellen Harbury's Bus Body. So I wonder if there's gonna be more alt arts because they have more cards than they usually have in um, in a set booster. It's gonna be interesting the way they deal with some of these ratios. So I'll go through these a little slower at first. Here's our first rare cultist of the absolute commander creatures you own get plus three plus three and have flying death touch, blah, 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 more text. I just realized this is one of the new background cards that'll be pretty cool to play with. Let me know what you think of that new mechanic background in the Wow, look at that. I feel like I this happens to me. Oh wow. Oh my gosh. We got a lot of rares. This is this is Commander Legends. Yes. Okay. So here's our Ooh, nice little This is a solid. I like how they're reprinting very like common um, you know, Commander staples. Or I don't know if Moss Time is a staple, but it's a very common commander card um, in this this border. So they're not just saving the border for new AFR card or uh, uh, Dungeons Dragons card. They're actually doing it with commander kind of staple-ish cards. Uh, anyway, wow, we got a lot in this pack though. So Cultus of the Absolute. Then we got this etched foil Cultus of the Absolute. If the first one wasn't good enough, what I was about to say is. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this new background mechanic. I have not decided what I'm going to do with it yet. Then we got Intellect Devourer. I believe, is this the one that was leaked? I forget. I know there's one with the brain that was leaked. I'm not a, um, I am not a Dungeons and Dragons player myself, so I don't know the characters that well. But uh, yeah, anyway, so, and Death Touch Life Link, at the beginning of your end step, choose one. Feed, target opponent loses life equal to the amount of life they lost this turn. Ouch. That's that's pretty dangerous. Uh, friends, you gain life equal to the amount of life you gained this turn. So either double your life gains or double your opponent's life losses. All right, so that was a bit of a slow pack that I just took my time with. That was only pack number one out of, yeah, I think it's 18. I don't know. I should have, uh, should have I should actually do a little research. Uh, there's no pack trick. Yeah, oh, so here is a non-alternate uh, art. There's our land. And here's some of our commons and uncommons. Poison the blade, something gains death touch, no surprise. The uh, flavor is right there. Let's see how we do, wild magic surge. Here's our next legendary uh, commander, a dragon spirit. So here's our first dragon too, whenever a non-token dragon enters the battlefield, create a token, that's, ooh, that's pretty dangerous. Maybe it's time to make a dragon tribal. Let, let me make a separate pile for the legends, for the uh, commanders, I'll put those over there. Okay, Street Urchin. Ooh, no way. Does it? Is this on purpose? Do you always get a duplicate of the rare? Look at this. 
two packs in a row, my etched was one of the cards. And this is the card that was leaked, I think, very early on. Elder Brain. Very cool. So that's the brain card I was thinking of. I was like, I know there's a brain here, but it's not quite this brain. So very cool. Okay, so that's the one that was leaked. I'll show it here on the screen so everybody can read it if they want, but it was leaked. Uh, okay, so let's move on. There's another background, a shiny card, and let's move on. So gonna start moving a little faster. There's just a lot of like, yeah, you know, I've heard that there aren't too many people that are super excited about this set, but uh, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on. I mean, there's a lot of stuff in all these packs. So does this etched card go with the all, yeah, I'll put that, uh, I don't know. Um, it's always so hard because then there's, well, if it's an etch card and it's a commander, if it's an etch card and it's a mythic, then what? So we did get our next, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, le uh, dungeon. There's our first foil island. Uh, so we gotta make another pile for those, those dungeons over there. Cloak of the Bat. So it looks like there's two alternate arts at the beginning of every pack. Ooh, Wayfarers. That's a nice little reprint. I should put like good reprints in another pile, I guess. You're, you can't see it. I'm putting them over here. Um, there we go. Here's our next commander, Mazzy, True Sword Paladin. Put that off to the side there. Guild, so I don't, so they put a commander and then they put another uncommon common. There's our uh, etched foil, not a duplicate, which is the first time that has happened. We not, did not get a duplicate. Ascend from the Avernus and a stirring bar to put that there. Rare goes here. Turn all creatures and planewalkers with Mono Valley X from the graveyard to the battlefield. Cool. Very white card. Wait, is it all creature and planewalkers? Wow. That's all creatures and planewalkers. So including your opponents. That's very dangerous. Okay. Oh, there's our first token. I don't think we got any tokens before this, right? No. Um, okay. Ooh, that's creepy. Uh, planes. Arenas, I think we already saw her. Decanter of the Endless Ward, Draconic Lounge. Young Blue Dragon, I think Blue Dragon was in AFR, if I remember correctly. Cone of Cold, Juvenile Mist Dragon. Oh, there's our regular art version of Arenas. Master Chef, and we're getting into our etched foils. Oh, so this is an etched uncommon, I didn't know you could do that. Very cool. Shameless Charlatan, a black bl bl background. Commander creatures you control have becomes a copy of another. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Um, and a holographic rare card. Frang the Frang line. There we go. All right. So moving on. I have not seen any dragons other than the commander that we got so far. Again, those are the chases. And I don't think we've gotten even any mythics yet. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully we can get our ratio up a little bit here, but it's a good set either way. There's our second shiny land, Fire Diamond, a nice little reprint in a, an alternate art. Command Tower, again, another solid reprint. Put that over there to the side with the rest of our solid reprints. I guess Fire Diamond can go over there too. Goggles of the Night, Min, Mintara, uh, Dragon Delver, and there's our rare commander. You may activate abilities of other creatures as though they had haste. Oh, that's a you know, good staple ability to have. Dragon Cultist, a background etched foil. There's our background etched foil and our adventure card, bringing those back and another shiny land. Look at that, I'll put that up there. Even though that was not technically in the land slot, we got another pile of cards to go through. There we go, okay. Very cool. So let me know in the comments down below, we're about a third of the way through the box, taking it nice and slow. Hope you all are enjoying this kind of slow look at the cards. There's Island. I do think I'm going to start going a little faster. I feel like we're getting a lot of duplicates too, like Cloak of the Bat I know we've gotten before. And there's 361 cards in the set, but I feel like we've already seen uh, a lot of duplicates. Ganax, uh, Hunter. And here's Rilsa Rel, Kingpin. There's our uh, etched. I wonder if the etched are going to be valuable at all, or they're going to be so... And there's our first list card. Wow. So the list uh, ratio has very low. I didn't even... I, forgot completely that we weren't even getting those because I forgot they were in here. And um, cool, cool, and uh, nice, okay. And that's our first list card. It's also a shrine, which is cool because of course, shrines came out back in Kamigawa and I don't have this shrine. Uh, I only have Honden of the, Honden of making your opponent discard cards, i.e. the black one. Um, 
So that's the only old, old Kamigawa one that I have. So I do need those other shrines. So I want to build a shrine deck. So that works out pretty good. Bane, Lord of Darkness. There's our next three color commander. As long as your life total is less than equal to half your starting life, blah, 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 has instructable. Very cool. Dragon Cult. Yeah, we just saw a Dragon Cult, a Scion of Halaster. And Packed Weapon. There's our first mythic rare card. Let's take a closer look at that so we can enjoy the. Uh, what this does. What does Pack Weapon do? As long as Pack Weapon is attached to a creature, you don't lose the game for having zero or less life. Okay. That's a thing. Whenever a quick creature attacks, draw a card and reveal it. That creature gains XX. Where that card is, uh, that card's mono value. Very cool. Oh, so draw a card and reveal it. But uh, I guess, yeah, draw a card means you can keep the card after, after you reveal it. I don't have a spot for my mythics. I'm going to move lands off to the side. I'm going to boot lands. I think everybody knows what lands look like, so I don't need to keep them on the screen. Nobody's gonna forget, oh my god. What do mountains look like again? I forget. All right, speaking of mountains, put that out there. There's our marble diamond. There's our charcoal diamond. Look at all these reprints. Shiny impetus. This was just printed in AFR, I think, right? There's a, wow, look at that. Two Wayfarer's Bauble. That card's gonna go way down in value. Oh my gosh, I think Wayfarer's Bauble is a good, I don't know, two or three bucks. So it's going to be interesting if that goes down, especially if they reprint it as much as I've been getting. There's our second token, and uh, and there's our rare for that. Did I get a... Was there no commander in that? I don't know what happened there. I didn't see a commander, unless I just put it off to the side without even realizing. All right, let's try to speed this up a little bit. At this rate, I don't, I don't, I've never done a video like this. I feel like all my other videos are a lot more rushed. I don't know what I'm doing differently that I feel so... The need to, to go through the slow slow maybe 15 cards per pack i mean i've done 15 card per pack before i've done regular draft boosters there's arcane signet nice cute little reprint mintara we've already seen mintara the uh, merciless soul i believe there it is nice and up close ancient silver dragon there's our first elder dragon of the box whenever ancient sil silver dragon i keep it's so hard to read the word silver in a game like mtg because it's like i want to say sliver and now it finally is silver Whenever Ancient Silver Dragon deals combat damage to a player, roll a d20, draw cards equal to the result. Wow. Okay. That could be that could be nuts. And it's in this alternate art. So where are we putting our mythics right up there? And a great sword of tear. No way. Oh my god, what a list card. What a list card. Old Gnawbone, right on theme being a dragon from AFR. But wow, what a card to draw in the list. This is still like a $20 card from the, the standard printing in AFR. Whoa, this is great. Look at this, guys. Man, let's, touch, let's appreciate that a little bit more. Old Gnawbone in the list spot. I know it's not technically like a mythic from the set, but it deserves to be right there up in the mythic spot. That is cool. Very happy with that. Anyway. Moving on, Undercity, that's, I think there's only one, yeah, there's only one uh, additional dungeon in this new set, it's all not, I think AFR had three in them, and now there's only one, Gainax, Astral Hunter, so I think we've seen that before, but just not in the uh, alternate art, Nimble Claw Dab, blah, 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 and what do we have, the Council 4, did I miss a rare, no, the Council 4, oh no, oh no, oh no, Council 4, whenever a player draws their second card of the turn, you draw a card, ooh, that's, Look, more draw a card. Whenever a player casts their second spell, you create very nice. Create things when your opponent, pu basically punish your opponents for doing things. Guys, stop doing things. Stop playing the game. Otherwise, I will benefit from it too. Sounds good to me. All right, here we are. Pack number mm, 11, maybe something. That sounds about right. That feels about right. Forest Amber Gristle. Old O-Mall. Oh, oh, she Irish? O-Mall? Oh, I don't know. Baal, Lord of Murder. Ooh, scary. Lord of Murder. Imagine being the Lord of Murder. Jeez. Do you have any friends? Um, Candle Keep Sage. There's our myth. Oh, wow. They even do the uh, commons in Etched. And Nine Fingers Keen. Oh, poor Keen. Uh, Stone Speaker Crystal. I'll go back and read that. 50 Feet of Rope. There's a nice little reprint from AFR. So clearly a lot of AFR uh, list cards. Um, not a surprise there. Get our little stack is is getting out of control. Nine fingers keen. What does this do? War pay nine life. Wow, that's actually that's very expensive. So if you want to target him, 
you, your opponent needs to pay nine life. All right, next pack. Well over halfway through the box. There's our mountain. Corlesa. Is that, wow, that's a nice old name. I like that. Tiamat's Fanatics. Blood Boil, Taunting, Cobalt, Cobalt? Amber, Gristle, Omal, Master Chef. Near a Wild Mage, whenever you cast a spell, you may put it on the bottom of its owner's library if you do reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a non-land card. These cards, there's so much text on these cards. Uh, Eldritch, Eldritch Pact, and Lose Life Draw cards, typical black. And there we go, Eldritch Pact. I think we got everything sorted. Nice, let's move on. Yeah, so can we get another dragon? That is the question. Hopefully get one or two more mythics. But that, man, that old note one. Okay, here's our nice commander reprints. Good way to start off the pack. I feel like all those commander reprints have been coming at the very beginning of the pack. Glutch, glunch. It's like lunch with a something else, I don't know. Legendary jellyfish. Jellyfish tribal, guys. Come on, jellyfish tribal. There's... Arenas. We've seen Arenas in every form. We now have the Etched Foil. We have the Alternate. Cultist of the Absolute. This is the third Cultist of the Absolute. We've got Unwinding Clock. There's a nice little list reprint. Untap all artifacts you control during each other player's untap step. Very cool. That's... I don't know what, where that card is right now price-wise, but seems good. Seems very good. Um, I'm actually not familiar with that card, so I know there's... There's that card, uh, that recent commander card, Drum Bellower something, Drum Bellower. Maybe that's what it's called, Drum Bellower. And it's a creature, spirit creature that does that. Um, anyway, back on topic, Bethron. Let's go. Jahira, friend of the forest. So it's a legendary creature, but it's not, it's only multicolor, or single color tokens you have. Well, that seems very broken. Tokens, tokens you control, period. Not, you know, Oh, creature tokens, or this, any token you control. So all your treasures now basically give you mana. Agent of the Shadow from, Agent of the Shadow of Iron Throne, Agent of the Shadow of Thieves, okay. Interesting, a lot of tongue twisters, a lot of very similarly named cards. There's our nice little, oh, and Manifold Key. Uh, that's a nice little, I guess it's a Commander reprint. I've only seen that played in Commander. All right, after this pack, we have three packs left. Let's go in and see how we do. Fire Diamond. Not not a lot of general like general commander reprints in here. I mean, you got the signets and the diamonds and all that, but that's pretty much it. Gale Waterdeep Prodigy. Oh, Elminster's Simulacrum for each opponent. Create a token that's a copy of one target creature that player controls. Good, but again, expensive. A lot of these like, oh, copy your opponents, this, that, the other thing. It's it's like make a token of copy, you know, of, of some card on the field. They're always like too expensive. That would be really interesting if it was like four. Uh, Wand of Wonder. I think I saw this card in a leak or something like that. Very cool. Uh, exile cards from the top of the library until they exile. Blah, 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 blah. You may cast up to X or wow. Okay. That's pretty interesting for like a, uh, what's that one? Uh, Prosper Tomebound uh, from, from AFR actually from the AFR uh, Commander decks. All right, last three packs. I'm gonna take these out of the box. Bethron Signature, let's get rid of the box. And third to last pack. Let's see how we do. We'll finish right on about 20 minutes. Should be good video, plus or minus a few. Navigation Orb, Jade Orb, lots of orbs. Three orbs, four orbs. An orb record, manifold key, swift foot boots. We haven't seen that yet. I didn't even realize that was in this set. Duke Ulder Ravengard. I think we already got him in a um, etched agent of the Iron Throne. Just saw that. Renari Mazzi. I think we already saw her. And patron of the art. So not a lot of rares in the um, hollow slot. I think we've only had one so far. Oh, I can't open. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. That was a little oddly tricky. And let's go and see how we do. I don't want to lose my Honda. I was just realizing I'm going to just put the list cards up in the uh, in the mythic slot. I've actually gotten very good, uh, some pretty good list cards so far. So I don't have a problem putting those up there. Anyway, Arenas. Look at all this. Ar Did I get two Arenas 
I, this card, I must have like seven of these already. Jeez. Look, two, two of the, this isn't even like a different art. It's literally the same card twice. Scanos, Dragonheart. Call in, call to the void. Each player secretly chooses a creature they control and a creature they don't control. Then those choices are revealed. Uh, I mean, that's fine, but it just seems like a card that's like a hassle to do right. Like, okay, how are we gonna all, are we gonna write it down on a sheet of paper and then we're all gonna reveal it at the same time? And, uh, you know, it's cards like that that are fine in theory, or maybe if you're playing the game electronically, but like, I don't know, that seems like a hassle to do in person. Oh, we got all, okay, nobody, nobody look at each other's guesses or whatever, I don't know. Okay, anyway, Levon, Cultist of Tiamat. Halson, more orbs? I remember last time we got those run of like four orbs, it came right before a Fang Dragon. Viconia, Hammers of Moradin? Moradin. Uh, OG, OG, OG. Wilson, just just Wilson. Scion of Halister. Do we have any Wilsons out there watching? Halson, I think we've already gotten this card. Horn of Valhalla. And that is it, folks, for the box. There's our rare Dawnbringer Cleric. There's our Construct token. Put these to the side. And let's do a quick review of our pulls. Some of the stuff on the list. Honden of Seeing Winds. Uh, we did get two Mythics. Three Mythics, I'm sorry. Pack Weapon and our Dragon. Of course, happiest about our Dragon. Pack Weapon, Elminster's Simulacrum and our ancient silver dragon. Then we got some nice list stuff, Unwinding Clock, 50 Feet of Rope, Old Gnawbone, a real banger from that, and Honden of the Sea Winds. One thing I noticed we just, I just realized we didn't get, is we didn't get any of the lands, unfortunately. So, oh well, I guess I'll have to open another box to get some of those lands, but we did not get any lands, although there are definitely some cool cards in this set. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the new content of the Battle for Baldur's Gate, uh, new set from uh, Wizards of the Coast. Hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe, stick around, come back and watch some more videos. If you're at all a fan of modern or uh, vintage Yu-Gi-Oh! Magic Gathering or Pokemon cards, definitely come back and watch. Anyway, thanks again for watching and hope to see you next time.